So far, we have seen the properties of AND gate and OR gate. I told you that both AND gate and OR gate both are commutative as well as associative. In this session, let us look at the NAND gate and NOR gate. You know what is a NAND gate. NAND gate is AND gate plus a NOT operator. What is a NOR gate? NOR gate is a OR gate plus a NOT operator. So both of these NAND gate and NOR gate, both of them are commutative but they are not associative. ये दोनों जो operators हैं, ये जो दोनों gate हैं, ये आपके commutative हैं, लेकिन ये associative नहीं हैं. Let me explain you with the help of an example. So first of all, we will take your NAND gate. ठीक है? Let us take the NAND gate. So you know what is the symbol of NAND gate? NAND gate is something like this. That we are going to take a AND gate here, and with this AND gate, I'm going to use a dot operator to make it a NAND. Right? So if the input is A here. And the input is B here, then the output will be A dot B whole complementation. So I told you that NAND gate are commutative. Commutative means A NAND B. So NAND sign is this. A NAND B is equal to B NAND A. So ये जो sign है आपके पास arrow का, this is the sign of NAND. At the same time, we can also have a similar sign for NOR. So when I'm saying they are not associative, it means that A NAND B NAND C this is not equal to A NAND B NAND C तो ये जो दोनों हैं ये equal to नहीं है let me prove it let me prove it so because okay so here let us take the left hand side here so what is this left hand side left hand side says we have A NAND B NAND C so let us convert this gate with the help of an AND gate and the OR gate. So this will become A dot B complement dot C whole complementation. And you can apply De Morgan's law on this. If you apply De Morgan's law, it will be A dot B complement complement plus C complement, which is equal to AB plus C complementation. Which is equal to AB plus C complement. In the same way, I can take the right hand side. I can take the right hand side. So what is the right hand side? Right hand side says it is A NAND B NAND C. So again, if you apply the De Morgan's law, let us first convert it to AND gate. So A and B and C complement whole complement. So again, you can apply De Morgan's law on this. If you apply De Morgan's law, this is A complement plus B dot C complement complement, which is equal to A complement plus B C. जो आपका A complement plus B C के equal है, and you can clearly here see here that left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. यहाँ पर जो left hand side है, वो right hand side के equal नहीं है. That is why I can clearly say that NAND gate is not associative. जो NAND gate है, वो associative नहीं है. I hope you understood this one. Let us also prove the same with the NOR gate. So what is this NOR gate? NOR gate क्या होता है? What is this NOR gate? So NOR gate is a NOT gate plus an OR gate. The simple symbol is something like this that I'm going to use an OR gate here and with this OR gate I'm going to use a NOT gate. So if the input here is A, if the input here is B then this A NOR B is actually equivalent to A plus B whole complementation. So if I say that it is not associative what it really means is if I do A NOR B NOR C then this is not equal to A NOR B NOR C ये दोनों same नहीं है let me prove it let me prove it so I can take the left hand side here so the left hand side is something like this that we are going to have A plus B whole complement plus C whole complement because I have to convert this in the help of a, with the help of a OR gate then this will become uh, you can apply De Morgan's law. So this is A plus B complement complement dot C complement which is equal to A plus B dot C complementation. This is the left hand side. In the same way let us take the right hand side here. So the right hand side is A plus B plus C complement complement. Right? So again apply De Morgan's law. This is A complement dot B plus C complement complement which is equal to A complement dot B plus C. 
okay so just by looking at this just by looking at this you can see the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side so you can clearly say that your nor gate is also not associative aapka jo nor gate hai wo bhi associative nahi hai so these properties you should remember why it is important to know these properties because in your gate examination they ask lot of question based on these properties is properties ke upar wo kafi questions puchte hain so you should know what are these properties okay i hope this is useful let us look at the next topic we can represent every boolean expression with the help of a function just like you can see this is a boolean expression which is a complement b plus b complement c i can represent this boolean expression with the function f of a b c we have already seen this but can we make a truth table for this kya hum iske truth table bana sakte hain let me show you this so here in this case we have three variables the variables are a b and c i'm going to write a b and c here and because all of these a b c right so these are three variables so how many combinations are possible here total eight combinations are possible kaun kaun se hain the combinations are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
फोर प्लस टू दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो दैट इज वाई इट इज हैविंग अ डेसिमल वैल्यू सिक्स ओके लेट मी शो यू द सेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ द ट्रूथ टेबल सो हियर यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट दीज आर द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ए बी सी दीज आर ऑल द पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन दैट वी हैव सीन एंड दीज आर द डेसिमल वैल्यूज दैट ईच ऑफ दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग and here these these are the values of the function so this function is assuming a value 1 whenever we have a complement b so a complement b is this case and it is having a value 1 whenever we have b complement c so this is representing a b complement c and here also we have b complement c so in all these cases it is having a value 1 otherwise it is having a value 0 okay i hope it is clear now in these expressions there is something very important to notice we have uh, two kinds of term one is your sum of product sum of product and second one is your product of sum product of sum okay so for example if you have an expression where we have a complement b plus b complement c so this expression is representing your sum of product expression why we call it as a sum of product then because this term is a product term ye kaun si term hai aapke paas product term this is a product term and if you look at this term it is also a product term ye bhi ek product term hai and then you are doing a sum of two product term aap do product term ka sum kar rahe hain that is why it is called as a sum of product in the same way when we do product of sum that means let us suppose if we have the expression which is a complement plus b dot b complement plus c this is the expression now in this expression this is the product term and this is a product and this is a sum term to agar aap is expression ko dekhenge if you look at this part here so this is representing a sum term ye kisko represent kar rahi hai ek sum term ko in the same way this is also representing a sum term ये भी एक सम टर्म को रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है सो दैट इज वाई इट इज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ओके नाउ एज यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव टेकन दिस एग्जांपल, सो द फर्स्ट फंक्शन वी हैव ए बी सी डी वी हैव फोर वेरिएबल्स, सो इन दिस केस यू कैन क्लियरली सी दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर प्रोडक्ट ऑपरेशन एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर सम ऑपरेशन सो दिस एंटायर एक्सप्रेशन इज योर सम दिस एंटायर एक्सप्रेशन इज योर सम and this entire expression is your sum and what you are doing you are doing product of sum so this is product of sum expression in the same way when you do sum of product jab aap sum of product ki baat karte hain so this is a product term this is a product term this is also a product term and you are doing sum of some product term that is why it is called as sum of product okay and what is the literal so literal is every occurrence of a variable is called as a literal so in this case how many variables how many occurrence of variables are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so in this case we have a total of seven literals kitne literals hai aapke paas total seven literals hai and in this case how many literals are there there are total of six literals yahan par aapke paas six literals hai okay so i think it is clear what is sum of product and what is product of sum now this something called as canonical form or you can say standard form right so this is canonical form or you can say standard form let me explain you what do you mean by canonical form over a standard form so this function here it is a three variable function kaisa function hai ye three variable ka function it is a three variable function so in a three variable function in every product term if we have all the three variables in complemented or uncomplemented form then we call it as a canonical sum of product Let me explain. जितनी भी आपकी प्रोडक्ट टर्म है यहाँ पर जितनी भी आपकी प्रोडक्ट टर्म है हर एक प्रोडक्ट टर्म के अंदर तीनों जो वेरिएबल्स है वो या तो कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर्म में हो या फिर नॉन कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर्म में हो किसी भी फॉर्म में हो देन वी कॉल दिस एज अ कैनोनिकल सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इन द सेम वे इन द कैनोनिकल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम दिस वेरिएबल दिस फंक्शन इज अ थ्री वेरिएबल फंक्शन सो ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री वेरिएबल्स शुड ऑकर हियर इन ईच ऑफ दिस सम टर्म्स यहाँ पर दिस इज the dot operator so in each of these sum terms all of these three variables should occur yani ki jab hum canonical sum of product ki baat karte hain canonical sum of product it means that in all the product term all the variables which are present in the function all of them should come right and this in canonical product of sum in all the sum terms 
all the variables which are present in the function all of these variables should come then we call it as a canonical form right let me explain you with a few more examples then we, we can look at the definitions so here this is giving us an expression and this expression is sum of product expression this is an sop expression right why it is an sop expression because it is a product term it is a product term and it is also a product term but this is not representing your standard or canonical sop why because in this product term b is missing kya missing hai yahan se b missing hai in this product term c is missing and in this product term a is missing so these are the variables which are missing so we have to include these variables in this product term to make it canonical so how can i convert it to canonical so the current expression that we have is ac plus ab plus bc right now i'm going to add here the variable b i can say it is a c b plus b complement here the variable c is missing so it is a b c plus c complement and here the variable a is missing so it is b c a plus a complement okay now in this case so this is a b c plus a b complement c plus this is a b c plus a b c complement plus this is a b c plus a complement b c now here you can clearly see this term is repeated three times ye jo term hai ye teen baar repeat kare so because it is repeated three times so i just have to write it once so i can write it as a b c plus a b complement c plus a b c complement plus a complement b c clear is it clear right so here all of these terms are representing your canonical sum of product ye kya represent kar rahe hain yahan par canonical sum of product now there's something more which is very important to notice here so we have all of a b c these three are in uncomplemented form so i can write this as 1 1 and 1 here a b complement c all of them are here so a is uncomplemented b is complemented and c is uncomplemented here we have a b c complement so i can write it as 1 1 0 here a complement bc i can write as 0 1 1 so that means this is representing decimal number 7 this is representing decimal number 5 this is representing decimal number 6 and this is representing decimal number 3 so there's one more way in which you can represent the same function ek aur tarike se aap is function ko represent kar sakte hain how can you represent the same function i can write it as f of a comma b comma c is equal to summation 3 5 6 7 i have written 3 5 6 7 that's it and why i am taking summation summation means we are doing a sum summation means a sum we are doing a sum between these terms so in this way also you can product represent your sum of product expression okay now here this 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 term which is a product term it is also called as min term ye jo product term hai hum isko min term bhi bolte hain so this is representing a min term this is representing a min term and this is representing a min term to ye sabhi jo aapke product term hai all of these product terms are also called as min terms ye sab ko hum min terms bhi bolte hain okay now let us take the next example here so in this function f of a b c we have a plus a b c now we have to convert this function in a canonical form kaise convert karenge so here b and c are missing right here all of them are already present so i can add this a with b c so i can add b plus b complement and c plus c complement and then i'm going to have a b c here now from this i will get a b plus a b complement right here this is c plus c complement plus a b c it can be written as a b c plus a b c complement a b complement c plus a b complement c complement plus a b c right so in this entire expression a b c is present here as well as a b c is also present here so i can write it as a b c plus a b c complement plus a b complement c plus a b complement c complement correct So if you look at each of these min terms here, so this min term is representing one one one. This is representing one one zero. 
This is presenting 101. This is presenting 100. So this is a value 7. This is a value 6. This is a value 5. And this is a value 4. So I can also write the same function in this manner. I can also write it as summation 4, 5, 6, 7. And this is representing the function f of a, comma b, comma c. So we can write it in this way. I hope it is clear. आप सभी को समझ में आया होगा. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask your doubts in the comment section. Now this is presenting a product of sum. So you can clearly see this is a product of sum expression. This is a product of sum expression, and this is a product of sum expression. And these product of sum expressions, these are called as your max terms. हम इनको क्या बोलते हैं? हम बोलते हैं इनको max terms. ठीक है? So how can I convert these max term to the canonical form? How can I convert these max term to the canonical form? So I can take AB and what is missing here? So I can write C dot C complement. Here we have B plus C. What is missing here? A dot A complement. Right? Here we have AC. So we have A plus C. What is missing here? B dot B complement. Right? And then you can apply distributive law. आप यहाँ पर distributivity property को follow कर सकते हैं. You can apply distributive law here. So this will become a plus b plus c dot a plus b plus c complement dot. This is a plus b plus c dot a complement plus b plus c dot. Then we have a plus b plus c dot a plus B complement plus C. So further this, this and this, these expressions are same. So I can write it as A plus B plus C. Then we have A plus B plus C complement. Then we have A complement plus B plus C. And then we have A plus B complement plus C. So now you can see this entire product of sum, this entire product of sum is uh, in canonical form. So this whole product of sum is in canonical form. Mein hai. This is representing a canonical form. Okay. So now you can see something very interesting here. Kuch cheeze hain jo bahut zyada interesting hai yahan par. So when we take a min term, min term means we are discussing about the product term. When we take a max term, so max term means we are discussing about the sum term. Okay. So a min term takes a value one. For exactly one combination of variables, just say this is a min term, which is a complement b complement c complement. So if I give a a as zero, if I give b as zero, if I give c as zero, then only this min term will be having a value one. Otherwise, it will be having a value zero, right? It will take a value one for exactly one combination of variables, right? For exactly one input combinations here, you can write it down because this point is very important. But when I take a max term. So this max term will take a value zero for exactly one combination of variables. So here we are talking talking about it is taking a value one, and here we are talking about it is taking a value zero, right? So what do I mean to say by this? Is? So if I write a complement, b complement, c complement, it will take take a value one only if a is zero, b is zero, and c is zero, and this will take a value one. So this will take a value zero only if a is zero, b is zero, and c is zero. So in case of these max terms. We are taking talking about when can these max term take a value zero, and here we are talking about when can this can take a value one. So here you can see in these variables we have zero zero one. So that means min terms will become a complement b complement c, but for but with the max term max term will be a plus b plus c complement. Here the min term will be a complement b c complement. Here the max term will be a b complement c complement. So in rough words you can say. In rough words, you can say whenever I have to make a min term, in case of min term, I write zero as a complement, I write one as non-complemented form. But in case of a max term, I write zero as non-complement and I write one as a complemented form. So ये आपको पता होना चाहिए. This is this should be very very clear. And we are going to take lot of example based on this. काफी examples आएंगे. Based on those examples, you can also see how can we solve it. Okay. So just again, I'm repeating the same sentence again. A max term. Will assume a value zero for exactly one input combination of variables, and min term will assume a value one for exactly one combination of these input variables. Okay, so this should be clear. I think this is clear. So let us move forward. So here you can see these min terms. We represent them with the help of summation. 
because it is the sum terms and these max terms because they are the product terms so that is why we represent with the help of pi so pi represents product summation represents sum so in this manner so here you can clearly see this is representing value 0 0 1 this is 0 1 1 this is 1 1 0 so if you convert 0 0 1 this is representing a value 1 0 1 1 is representing a value 3 1 1 0 is representing a value 6 right so I can write it as summation 1 3 6 and here it is representing a value 0 this is representing a value 3 this is representing a value 6 this is representing a value 1 so I can write it as summation 0 1 3 6 this is pi 1 3 6 so yaha par hum log kya use karna we are going to use pi and here we are going to use summation so pi is used in, in case of uh, product sum, product of sum and summation is used in case of sum of product jo product of sum mein hum pi use karte hain aur jo sum of product mein hum summation ko use karte hain so this is uh, should be clear because these terminologies we are going to use extensively while solving the questions in your examination most of the time they will give you these terminologies on, only while asking the questions okay so let us take this example here we have a function which is a plus b complement c and we have to represent this in the sum of min terms hum isko sum of min terms mein represent karna hai how can i do it so here with this a b plus b complement is missing c plus c complement is missing and here a is missing so i'm going to do a plus a complement and then i can expand it after expanding it i will get this expression and further this expression this is representing your because it, these are min terms so it is representing 0 sorry it is uh, this one is representing 1 this is representing 1 this is representing 1 because they are min terms they are not max terms right so this is representing value 7 here this is representing a value 0 0 and 1 which is representing a value 1 right so I, I so this entire function here I can also represent this entire function using this terminology a pure function ko kuch is tarike se bhi represent kar sakte hain hello everyone in the previous video we have seen an introduction to boolean algebra and we have seen how can you minimize the boolean expressions using the identities of boolean algebra hum boolean expressions ko kis tarike se minimize kar sakte hain uh, using the identities wo hum pichle video mein pichle session mein hum already dekh chuke hain now in this session we are going to discuss about the minimization of boolean expressions using k maps why do we need k maps this is the first question that you need to answer so sometimes if you have big expressions so minimizing those big expression takes a lot of time plus there are huge chances there are very high chances that uh, minimization of boolean expression uh, during that minimization you are going to make mistakes so that is why we are using these k maps with the help of k maps it will be very easy for us to minimize an expression k maps ki help se kisi expression ko minimize karna hamare liye bahut easy ho jayega it will be very easy for all of us so this topic will approximately take us 4 to 5 hours to complete because there are a lot of examples that we need to take within i mean it is important for us to cover all of these examples if you will not cover examples then uh, the topic will not be very clear so we will do the following things today first of all we are going to look at an introduction so that is the introduction to the k map what is the basic structure of k map how can you make a k map for any expression i'm going to take everything step by step even if in some point if you feel that i'm using a lot of presentations a lot of ppt's don't worry about it just follow through the lectures you will understand everything step by step dekho kafi bar aisa hota hai we indians we are not designed to study using ppt's or presentations we are trained to study on a whiteboard or on a notebook aapke school level mein college level mein aisa hota tha ki jo teachers hain wo aapko bachpan se hi i mean from your lkg ukg nursery onwards and everyone is teaching you on a blackboard or a whiteboard till in your uh, you know btech and mtech but using the presentations is not very convenient for us because we are not really designed to uh, you know we are not having any kind of practice to uh, study using presentations that is why uh, even if i show a few things using the presentations just follow through the lectures because i'm also going to cover some few example based on those and once you complete this entire chapter jab tak aap pura chapter ko complete karenge you will be able to understand everything in a very crystal clear manner okay just follow through the lectures you will understand everything so the first one will be introduction to the k maps how can you make the k maps 
second is we are going to take some examples using uh, representing the functions using kmaps representing the functions using kmap or you can say representing boolean expressions boolean expressions using kmap and third we are going to look at what are the prime implicates what are essential prime implicates right and what are just implicates because if we know what are implicates what are prime implicates what are essential prime implicates it will become very easy for us to minimize any boolean expression and then again we will take a lot of examples i will take a lot of examples so that every topic everything should be crystal clear with you guys aap sabhi ke sath sabhi cheeze bilkul acche se crystal clear honi chahiye okay let us do an introduction i mean how can you make k maps okay so basically k map is dependent on a very simple expression jo aapki boolean expression hoti hai so in, you know there are some identities of boolean expression so you have an identity that if you do a plus a complementation then it is equal to 1 based on this principle the entire k map is designed तो ये जो प्रिंसिपल है आपको यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस प्रिंसिपल वी हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन दिस प्रिंसिपल्स एंड जस्ट बेस्ड ऑन दिस प्रिंसिपल केन आप सार डिजाइन लेट अस लुक एट अ फ्यू एग्जांपल्स देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड स्टेप बाय स्टेप व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ओके सो वी हैव टू कवर द फॉलोइंग थिंग्स सो दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जांपल ऑफ केन मैप दिस इज हाउ द केन मैप विल लुक लाइक and uh, i'm just showing you this as a picture because later on you will understand what i'm trying to represent using this hum ise kya represent karne ki koshish kar rahe hain wo baad mein samjhenge we will come back to this later on so uh, let us leave it as it is and i'll come back to this one okay and uh, again you will understand this one also later on ye kaise represent kiya hai kya represent kiya hai we are going to look at all of these things one by one okay so let us keep these parts first of all okay fine so let's start from here so k map is basically a graphical way of solving boolean expressions k map se hum boolean expressions ko ek graphical way se solve karte hain right jaise jaise if you have only one variable you know that if you have only one variable then with the help of if you have only one variable then with the help of this one variable your function can take only two values either the value of a can be 0 or the value of a is 1 so this value of a0 is represented by a complement and this value of 1 is represented by a correct now if you have two variables then there are total of four combinations we have already seen this so you can take a variable a you can take a variable b and with these two variables you have four combinations you can have combinations as 00 01 10 10 and 11 so this 00 is representing a complement b complement this is representing a complement b this is representing a b complement and when i say 1 1 this is representing a b and with the help of three variables there are eight combinations are possible let us assume the three variables are a b and c so the combinations that are possible here are 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 i hope it is visible aap sabhi ke sath visible hoga yes it is visible okay now the first combination here is representing a complement b complement c complement this is representing a complement b complement c this is representing a complement b c complement this is representing a b c okay uh, a complement b c this is representing a b complement c complement it is representing a b complement c this is representing a b c complement and this one is representing a b c so these are all the combinations correct i hope all of these combinations are visible yes it is visible now when i take this k map which is having only one variable when i take this k map which is having only one variable so i am representing this a complement using this cell and i am representing this a using this theek hai तो हम ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट को इस सेल से रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं विच इज जीरो एंड आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग ए विद दिस सेल फाइन एंड वेन आई हैव टू वेरिएबल्स राइट सो दीज टू वेरिएबल्स कैन टेक फोर कॉम्बिनेशन राइट सो जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो एंड वन वन 
so this cell is representing 0 0 0 and 0 this cell is representing 0 1 this cell is representing 1 0 and this cell is representing 1 1 okay and now here when you have three variables so the combination with the three variables are total eight combinations so that means you can see the total of eight cells here this first cell is representing 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 and 0 1 0 this is representing 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 and 1 1 0 okay uh, there's something very interesting to notice here something very interesting that when you create these combinations i can also give them some decimal values okay so i can allocate them some decimal values so the decimal value of 0 0 0 is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 then we have 6 and then we have 7 so we have all the decimal values which is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but if you look at this cell now these values are in, uh, these values these combinations are uh, you know given in a different manner what do i mean to say by different manner so if you if you just look at these combinations and you try to see uh, what cell is representing which combination then you can also represent it with the help of a decimal number so this is representing a decimal number 0 this is representing a decimal number 1 this is representing 2 and this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 okay now why why i do not have 1 2 0 1 2 3 but why i have 0 1 uh, 3 2 is the and here also we have 4 5 7 6 we do not have 6 7 the reason is the k map uses gray code k map uses gray code Okay, gray code comes up. What do I mean to say by gray, gray code? Gray code means between any two combinations which are adjacent to each other, we should have only one bit as a different, right? Only but one bit should be different. Just like, just like, let me show you with the help of an example. <coughs> let me try to show you. So, if I say that we have the first bit is 0, 0, 0, then second is 0, 0, 1. So, between these two, only one bit is different. Here, only bit ka difference hai, only one bit is different. Correct. If I say 0, 1, 0. Now, in this case, between these two combinations, there is a gap difference of two bits. So, this bit is changing from 1 to 0 as well as this bit is changing from 0 to 1. Now, in K maps, we only any two adjacent cells can have a change of only one bit. They can have only one bit as a change that is called as a gray code. Okay. That means, that means instead of using this combination here instead of using this combination i can use the following combination i can have 0 1 1 because if i use 0 1 1 then between these two bits between these two combinations i mean this entire combination and this entire combination there's a change of only one bit this is presenting a decimal value 0 this is presenting a decimal value 1 this is presenting a decimal value 3 there's a change of only one bit in the same way if i take 0 uh, 1 0 so between this one and this one there is a change of only one bit sirf ek hi bit ka change hai and i can write it as 2 main isko 2 likh sakta hu okay so in the same way this entire k map is organized pura k map jo hai wo isi principle pe organized hai so if i just again write the decimal values then the decimal values will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 this is 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 and 1 1 0 if you take any two adjacent cells up we be randomly do adjacent cell will take any two random adjacent cell maybe i'm taking these two cells if i'm taking these two cells there's a change of only one bit if i'm taking these two cells there's a change of only one bit right so only one bit is changed even if i try to take uh, these two cells Still, there is a change of only one bit. Yani ki row mein or column mein. So, whenever we have a row and whenever we have a column, any two adjacent cells are having a change of only one bit. And now, here this adjacent cell is also having a change of one bit. Even these two adjacent cells are having a change of only one bit. So, that is why we use gray code here to uh, uh, represent the K map. Now, what is the benefit of using the gray code? Gray code ka jo benefit hai, wo kya hai? What is the benefit? of using the gray code here 
let's try to understand the benefit here step by step okay so let us assume let us assume we have this function let us start with the smaller function here so this is a smaller function is a two variable function and here this is a function f correct now let us assume this function f is assuming a value 1 here it is assuming a value 1 here it is assuming a value 0 in these two cases two locations pe iski value 1 hai aur two locations par 0 hai if i trace out these values if i try to put these values in the k map this is representing the combination 0 0 so this one will be here this is representing the combination 0 1 therefore this one will be here correct and all other locations we are having zero fine and if you if you look at this combination this combination is representing a combination a complement b complement kya represent kar it's representing a complement b complement and this one is representing your a complement b fine now for this function the expression is something like this a complement b complement plus a complement b I can take a complement as common, then I will get b complement dot b, b complement plus b, which is equal to a complement only. So, the pura function hai, this I entire function can be represented by a single a complement. We pure function ko sirf a complement ki help se represent kar sakte hai. Right? <coughs> now, coming back to this k map, coming back to this k map, here I can combine these two cells together. If I'm combining these two cells together, all I have to say is what is what is uh, the bit that is changing because A is remaining constant, only B is changing. So the bits, the variable which is changing, which is changing its value, I can eliminate that variable and the variable which is not changing its value, I can say it is A complementation. So we can A complement represent kar sakte hai. That is why even using this, I can find the same solution. Let me explain you with this one. Take it. Here what I can do is, I can have a combination 1 here, I can have a 1 here, I can have 1 here, and I can have a 1 here. Let us assume these 4 locations we are having a 1 and these other locations we are having a 0. So let me also represent the same with the help of uh, this function. Let me rub this one. So let me also represent with the help of the truth table. Let's go truth table se represent karta hon, so that it becomes easier for all of you guys. Take care. So in this case, in this case, this function is assuming a value 1 here. You can see location here, 0, 1. Right? So here also this function is having value 1. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So in the location 6 and 7, it is assuming a value 1. Otherwise, in all other locations, it is having a value 0. Correct? Now in this case, I can combine these two cells and I can combine these two cells. Why I can combine? Because, because these two adjacent cells are having a change of only one bit. And these two adjacent cells are having a change of only one bit. So for this cell, which bit is changing? This C is changing. B is remaining the same as well as A is also remaining the same. B B same hai or A B same hai. A ki value kya hai aapke paas? Zero. Aur B ki value kya dono cells ke liye? Zero, zero. Therefore, this combination is presenting A complement, B complement. Correct? In the same way, if you look at this combination here, here A is remaining the same, the value of A is only 1 and the value of B is also same, only these two values, only these two values, which is C, the value of C is changing. Therefore, I can write this combination as AB. Therefore, if I represent this with the help of an expression, this will be A complement B complement plus AB, which is representing A X nor B. A x nor b. The same can be, you know, calculated using this truth table. Is truth table se bhi hum usko same ko calculate kar sakte. How can you calculate? Just take these combinations. So, these combinations I represent kar This is representing a complement, b complement, c complement plus this combination is representing a complement, b complement, c plus this combination is representing a, b, c complement plus this combination is representing a, b, and c. From these two, I can take A complement, B complement is common. I can take A complement, B complement is common plus and inside the bracket, we are going to have C complement plus C plus and from these two, I can take AB as common 
inside we are going to get c complement plus c therefore this is 1 this is 1 therefore we are going to get a complement b complement plus a b so you can clearly see this expression as well as this expression both are exactly the same jo dono expressions hain dono exactly same hain so basically if i represent a function using the k map so this is a graphical method and solving the function using a graphical method makes things very clear for us as well as it makes things very easy as i said human recognition memory humans can understand using images aapko images zyada lambe time tak yaad rehti hai you can remember images for a very very long time you can remember the faces of the people you can remember the photo you can remember a picture but if i ask you to remember a paragraph from a newspaper you will not be able to do it because human mind is only designed to recognize patterns it is only designed to recognize pictures राइट right? तो हम लोग टेक्स्ट को वैल्यूज को नंबर्स को ज्यादा लंबे टाइम तक याद नहीं कर पाते हैं ओके नाउ अगेन हियर इन दिस केस यू कैन आल्सो सी द स्के मैप एंड दिस इज अ फोर वेरिएबल के मैप सो इफ यू टेक एनी टू एडिशन सेल व्हाट्स सो एवर एनी टू रैंडम एडिशन सेल जैसे जैसे आई कैन टेक दीस टू एडिशन सेल आई कैन टेक दीस टू एडिशन सेल दिस सेल इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग 1101 सो 1101 राइट and this cell is representing 11 1 and 11 1 correct so here you can see only one bit is changed yahan par sirf ek hi bit ka change hai only one bit is changed hence why it is having only one bit is changed because we are using gray code to agar aap koi bhi do addition lenge cells in terms of row as well as in terms of column only one bit will be changed this is how we organize the k map now in this k map if you check out their values if you check out their values this is representing 0000 this is 0001 this one is representing 0011 this is 0010 ye wala hai aapke paas 0100 0101 0111 0110 1100 1101 1111 1110 1000 1001 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 okay these are the cells so if you re remember if you try to represent them with the decimal values agar aap inki decimal values ki tarah se represent karenge this is representing value 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so these are the decimal values so if you try to represent them with the decimal values This is how I can present a four variable K map. इस तरीके से हम एक four variable K map को represent कर सकते हैं. Clear? Okay. So four variable K map will be having sixteen cells. So here you can see what each of these cells are representing. If I have only one variable K map, then one entry is representing A complement. The second entry is representing A. If I have two variable K map, these entries are A complement, B complement, A complement B, A B complement, and A B. correct here also if you check between any two you know any two adjacent uh, uh, cells they are having a change of only one bit wahan par hamare paas sirf ek hi bit ka change hai even even if you can see three variable k map you will be having a change of only one bit take any two random addition cell even if i take this cell only one bit is changed so here only b is changed a is same as well as c is changed c is also same even if you take this one only one bit is changing that is a यहाँ पर सिर्फ ए ही चेंज कर रहा है अदरवाइज बी एंड सी बोथ आर सेम ओके सो इन दिस वे यू कैन रिप्रेजेंट के मैप्स ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर क्लियर सो वी हैव टू काइंड्स ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन एज आई टोल्ड यू वी हैव मिन टर्म्स एज वेल एज वी हैव अ मैक्स टर्म अगर हम लोग मिन टर्म्स की बात करेंगे इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द मिन टर्म्स देन वी रिप्रेजेंट मिन टर्म्स एज ए सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट so they are representing all the product terms if i talk about the max terms that means they, they, they are representing product of sum to yahan par jo hai ye product of sum expressions hai we will look at this later on isko hum log baad mein dekhte hain we'll try to understand it how uh, ye kaise kaam karta hai we'll try to understand it later on theek hai okay let us move step by step i'll take everything in a step by step manner taki aapko koi bhi confusion na ho uh, I'll try to explain you with the help of conf uh, with clarity. Okay, so we'll take all things with clarity. Now there are two ways. I mean, here you can see uh, in this is the K map for three variables. This is the K map for three variables. But the way you are going to represent the variables that will change their values. Okay, just say, just say, just say. But I'm trying to say is, 
let us suppose that we have a function f of a comma b comma c mere paas kya function hai f of a comma b comma c and here this function is represented as summation summation 1 3 6 and 7 right i hope that you remember this one in the previous class we have covered what is summation humne apni previous class mein summation ko cover kiya tha okay now look at it very carefully because this is a little tricky things many people make mistakes here so if i am representing a here and here bc then it will be different and here if i am representing c here and here ab now these two k maps are having few different values okay i'll explain you so this is a complement and this is a this is b complement c complement b complement c bc and bc complement and this is representing c complement and c this is a complement b complement a complement b ab and this is a b complementation okay and if you remember if you want to represent them with the help of a number aap isko number se bhi represent kar sakte hain this is representing a number 0 this is representing a number 1 okay तो ये जो है ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट ये नंबर जीरो को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है एंड व्हेन आई से ए ए इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर वन ओके देन इफ यू हैव बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर जीरो जीरो बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर जीरो वन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर वन वन एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर वन जीरो सो इफ यू टेक एनी टू एडसेंट सेल्स आई मीन एड्स एडसेंट बिट्स अगेन वन बिट इज चेंज हियर ऑल्सो वन बिट इज चेंज हियर ऑल्सो वन बिट इज चेंज एंड इवन यू कैन टेक दिस वन एंड यू कैन टेक दिस वन बिटवीन द लास्ट वन एंड द फर्स्ट वन ओनली वन बिट इज चेंज लास्ट में और फर्स्ट में सिर्फ एक ही बिट का चेंज है इन द सेम वे हियर ऑल्सो सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट मीन्स जीरो एंड सी मीन्स वन दिस इज जीरो 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 वन 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 एंड वन जीरो ठीक है इतना क्लियर है ओके सी वी विल डू एवरीथिंग स्टेप बाय स्टेप हम सब कुछ स्टेप बाय स्टेप करेंगे आई विल नॉट डू एनीथिंग दैट विल मेक यू गेट कन्फ्यूज तो हम लोग सब कुछ स्टेप बाय स्टेप कवर करने वाले हैं okay <clears throat> now this something very interesting happening here if i'm looking at this cell this cell is representing 0 0 and this cell is representing 1 0 okay why i'm writing 1 0 is because this row is a and here we have b complement c complement now now this cell is representing 0 0 0 and this cell is representing 0 0 1 मैंने यहाँ पर 001 क्यों लिखा वाई हैव रिटर्न 001 वाई हैव रिटर्न 001 वाई हैव नॉट रिटर्न 100 यहाँ पर मैंने 001 क्यों लिखा बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ऑर्डर इनका जो ऑर्डर है द ऑर्डर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स मैंशन इन द फंक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑर्डर आई हैव टू राइट दीज नंबर इन द सेम ऑर्डर राइट सो हियर दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग ए दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग बी दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग सी दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग ए दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग बी दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग सी सेम ऑर्डर जो फंक्शन में ऑर्डर फॉलो किया गया है वेरिएबल का इन द सेम ऑर्डर यू हैव टू राइट दिस नंबर्स ओके सो हियर दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग अगेन जीरो वन जीरो करेक्ट लेट मी यूज द सेम कलर सो दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग जीरो वन जीरो दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग जीरो वन वन दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग जीरो वन वन जीरो दिस इज वन 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 दिस इज वन जीरो जीरो दिस इज वन जीरो वन Here, if you look at this one, then this is zero zero one. This is one zero one. This is zero one one. This is one one one. This one is zero one zero. This is one one zero. Okay. Now, because I have changed the variable that I have written here. यहाँ पर जो मैंने row के अंदर जो variable लिखा है, the variable I have written in the row and the variable I have written in the column. These are two different variables. So because of because I am using two different variables, that is why what these cells are representing that will also change. ये जो cells जो represent कर रही है, ये भी आपके पास change हो जाएगा. Clear? Clear? Now in this case, if you write the equivalent decimal value, this is representing a decimal value one. Zero. This is representing a decimal value one. This is representing a decimal value two. This is representing a decimal value three. Decimal value four. Decimal value five. Decimal value six. Decimal value seven. In the same way, in this case, this is representing a decimal value one zero. This is representing a decimal value one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. 
this is six and this is seven again i'm saying the way you are going to represent these cells these numberings can change अब यहाँ पर रो के अंदर क्या वैल्यू को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं किस वेरिएबल को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं और कॉलम के अंदर किस वेरिएबल को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दीज नंबरिंग्स विल चेंज ओके आई होप इट इज क्लियर इतना आप सभी के साथ क्लियर होगा ओके आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर ओके फाइन नो सेम थिंग थिंग कैन बी ऑब्जर्व विद अ फोर वेरिएबल के मैप सेम चीजें हम फोर वेरिएबल के मैप के साथ भी रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हैं Let us assume that we have the following function f of a comma b comma c comma d, and this function is having the values summation zero, one, three, seven, nine, eleven. Zero, one, three, seven, nine, eleven. Okay, we will see how we can represent these values. हम सभी चीजों को step by step cover करेंगे. Now what I am doing here is what I am doing here is I am doing something special. I am I am representing a b here. and i am representing cd here okay and just for a purpose just for because i want to answer something better then i am going to represent ac here and i am going to represent bd here to yahan par jo values hain so i have changed these values i am representing ac i am not representing bd right i could have done something like this i could have represented cd here and ab here mai wo bhi kar sakta tha but just for fun just for to just to make you understand i'm representing ac and bd okay so that means that means ye jo cell hai the way numbering in these two cells will go that will change theek okay? hai this is representing again 00011110 and 10 ठीक है क्लियर नाउ लेट अस राइट देयर इक्विवेलेंट वैल्यूज सो दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग ऑल जीरोस दिस इज 0001 दिस इज 0011 0010 दिस वन इज 0100 0100 0110 1100 1110 1110 1110 1110 1110 This is one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one 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 zero one zero. Okay, and in the second cell, now here it will be little tricky. Writing here will be a little tricky. यहाँ पर लिखना थोड़ा सा tricky होगा. Because I have to write in this manner. I have to write first A, then I have to write B, then I have to write C, and then I have to write D. So here this value will be zero 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 zero. Okay, so zero 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 one. ओके जीरो जीरो वन वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो अगेन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो राइट इज दैट मीन्स आई हैव टेकन दीज वैल्यूज जीरो वन हियर आई हैव रिटर्न जीरो जीरो वन देर ओके सो अगेन हियर वन वन हियर वी हैव वन जीरो एंड इन बिटवीन वी हैव जीरो 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 राइट एंड हियर वी हैव जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन एंड इन बिटवीन वी हैव जीरो वन हियर Zero one here and zero one here. Okay, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I think I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake here. I'm so sorry. I'm such a duffer sometimes. <coughs> so this is representing zero one zero zero, zero one zero one, zero one one one, zero one one zero. This is one one zero zero, one one zero one, one 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 one. One 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 zero. This is one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero one 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 zero one zero. These are the values that each of these cells is representing. Okay? Clear? Now let us write the numbers. In all these numbers, hey, let us try to understand and write the numbers for each of these cells. So this is representing a decimal value zero one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm so sorry. Sorry again. This is a, this is a mistake. This is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन ठीक है दीज विल बी द नंबर्स हियर नाउ इन दिस सेकेंड वन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग जीरो टू करेक्ट ये क्या वैल्यू होगी आपके पास टू होगी राइट एंड दिस वैल्यू विल बी योर टेन दिस वैल्यू विल बी एट दिस वैल्यू विल बी वन दिस इज थ्री दिस वन इज वैल्यू विच इज इलेवन राइट सो वी हैव जीरो टू फोर एट एट प्लस थ्री इज इलेवन दिस वन विल बी वैल्यू नाइन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वैल्यू थर्टीन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वैल्यू ट्वेल्व दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वैल्यू विच इज फोर्टीन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग फिफ्टीन दिस वन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग वैल्यू सेवन दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग वैल्यू सिक्स दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग वैल्यू फोर दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग वैल्यू फाइव इन दिस मैनर दे आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग सम डेसीमल नंबर्स ठीक है क्लियर है आई होप इट इज क्लियर हाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट दिस किस तरह से लिखना है वो सभी आपके साथ क्लियर होना चाहिए नाउ आफ्टर दिस नाउ आफ्टर दिस आई हैव रिटर्न दैट ए बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू समीशन जीरो वन थ्री सेवन नाइन इलेवन तो ये जो समीशन है समीशन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द मिन टर्म्स राइट मिन टर्म्स और कैन से द प्रोडक्ट टर्म सो द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट टर्म इज हैविंग ए वैल्यू एट जीरो सो दैट मीन्स हियर आई हैव वैल्यू वन एंड हियर ऑल्सो आई हैव वैल्यू वन द नेक्स्ट वी हैव फॉर वन सो हियर आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन एज वेल एज हियर ऑल्सो आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन ओके नेक्स्ट इज थ्री सो थ्री इज रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर सो यहाँ पर आपके पास वैल्यू वन है एंड हियर थ्री इज रिप्रेजेंटेड हियर सो हियर ऑल्सो आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन नेक्स्ट वन इज सेवन सो हियर आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन एंड हियर यू कैन सी आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन देन वी हैव नाइन सो नाइन का मतलब है हियर आई हैव वन एंड हियर ऑल्सो आई हैव वन देन वी हैव इलेवन सो इलेवन मीन्स हियर आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन एंड इन दिस केस ऑल्सो यू कैन चेक हियर आई हैव अ वैल्यू वन तो इस तरीके से आप बता सकते हो वट आर द लोकेशन इन द के मैप दे आर एजिंग वैल्यू वन तो कहाँ का पर वैल्यू वन है यहाँ पर वी हैव वैल्यू वन हियर वी हैव वैल्यू वन इन दीज टू लोकेशन वी हैव वैल्यू वन इन दीज टू लोकेशन वी हैव वैल्यू वन इन दीज टू लोकेशन वन हियर एंड वन हियर ठीक है क्लियर है ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ कैन यू फील दीज वैल्यूज हाउ कैन यू रिप्रेजेंट द फंक्शन इन द के मैप बस अभी आपको इतना समझना है यू ओनली हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ कैन यू रिप्रेजेंट द फंक्शन यूजिंग के मैप ओके ओके सो जैसे इफ यू हैव अ फंक्शन विद टू वेरिएबल्स विच इज ए बी सो आई कैन मेक अ के मैप फॉर दिस ए बी आई एम टेकिंग अ वेरिएबल ए हियर आई एम टेकिंग अ वेरिएबल बी हियर एंड इन दिस फंक्शन इट इज हैविंग वन इन टू लोकेशन आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट बोथ ऑफ दीज टू लोकेशन यूजिंग द के मैप सो दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग जीरो वन एंड दिस इज प्रेजेंटिंग वन जीरो सो इन लोकेशन जीरो वन वी आर हैविंग अ वन इन लोकेशन वन जीरो वी आर हैविंग अ वन द सेम थिंग कैन बी डन हियर आप यहाँ पर भी देख सकते हैं एक्चुअली दिस इज ओनली ओनली डिफरेंस हियर इज इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग जीरो वन आई हैव रिटर्न बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड बी इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग जीरो वन आई हैव रिटर्न ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड ए सो बोथ ऑफ दीज टू के मैप्स आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सेम थिंग दोनों जो के मैप है वो एक ही चीज को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं ओके इन द सेम वे दिस इज अ थ्री वेरिएबल के मैप थ्री वेरिएबल के मैप हियर वी आर हैविंग थ्री वेरिएबल्स वी हैव द वेरिएबल ए बी सी दीज आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग दर डेसिमल वैल्यूज जो भी कॉम्बिनेशन है वट एवर कॉम्बिनेशन यू हैव इट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द डिसमल वैल्यूज ऑफ दोज कॉम्बिनेशन एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन तो ये क्या कर रहा है अपनी फंक्शन की वैल्यू को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है सो दिस फंक्शन इज एज्यूमिंग अ वैल्यू वन हियर विच इज एट द लोकेशन टू इट इज एज्यूमिंग अ वैल्यू वन हियर विच इज एट द लोकेशन फोर इट इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू वन एट द लोकेशन फाइव इट इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू वन एट द लोकेशन सेवन तो इन सभी लोकेशन पर यह वैल्यू वन ले रहा है सो इफ आई रिप्रेजेंट द सेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ मेन टर्म दर आई कैन से दिस इज द फंक्शन फॉर द वेरिएबल ए बी सी एंड दिस वेरिएबल दिस फंक्शन इज एज्यूमिंग अ वैल्यू वन एट द लोकेशन टू इट इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू वन फॉर फोर इट इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू वन फॉर फाइव इट इज हैविंग अ वैल्यू वन फॉर सेवन तो इस तरीके से आई कैन ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंट द सेम थिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फंक्शन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके एंड आई कैन put all of these values in the k map if you are putting all of these values now in the k map these locations will be having value 1 so i think you can analyze it aap isko samajh sakte hain you can try and analyze this function okay now this is representing a four variable k map so in this four variable k map these are the functions which is a b c d so we have four variables we have a variable a we have a variable b we have a variable c and we have a variable d Now this four variable came up is assuming a value one at the location three, four, five, at the location seven, at the location ten, at the location twelve, at the location fourteen and 
50. So I can also represent the same with the help of this. I can say the function is a comma b comma c comma d and this function is assuming a value 1 at the location 3, at the location 4, at the location 5, at the location 7, then at the location 10, then 12, then 14 and then 15. So in, these are the locations where this is having a value 1. And I can also fill all of these values in this K-map. So K-map may jahan jahan par ye locations hai. For example, here I'm uh, representing uh, in every row I'm representing the variable AB. In every column I'm representing a value CD. Okay. And now basically it's very easy to remember these values, right? Every time you do not have to calculate that this is representing what location. You can just say it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So just have to remember these values. These numbering ki values. Hai. If you remember these numbering values, now filling out this K map will become very easy. This K map ko fill karna aapke liye bahut zada easy ya fir bahut zada asan ho jayega. Okay? I'll take more examples, then you will understand how easy it is to make the K maps. K maps ko banana kitna asan hai. I'll take a few examples. So again, this is you can see one more example. So this is a function with the help of three variables, and this these variables are having a value one at a b c complement a b c and a complement b complement c so i can make this k map so here for rows i am taking the variable a and for columns i am taking a variable b c so the first location is a b c complement so i can take a b this is variable a i can take b c complement so this is the location which is representing a b c complement then we have a b c so this is the location which is representing a b and c and then we have a complement b complement c so this location is representing a complement b complement and c okay so this is how you can represent the same function using the k map now again this is a four variable k map so here you four variable k map hai. now this again something uh, you know easy you can understand more easily how you can fill this table more easily kaise fill kar sakte hai? So this one is representing 0, 1, 0, 0, that is having a value 4. This is representing 0, this is 1, 0, 1, 0, that is 10. This is 0, 1, 1, 0, that is 6. This is, uh, this is 1, 0, 1, 1, which is the value uh, that is 11, right? 8 plus 3 is 11. And this is 1, 1, 0, 1, which is representing a value total. 13 right so 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 13 okay now i can directly make a k map and in this k map i can directly go to the location 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 so here we have 1 and then i can go to the location 10 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this is location 10 so in the location 10 it is representing value for this variable this is representing the value 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in this location 6 i can represent this min term then we have this is representing 11. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So in the location 11, we are having a value 1. And here we have 13. So again, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So this is representing 13. At the location 13, we are having a 1. So in this way, it is very easy to fill the K map. Making the K map, filling the K map is very easy. If you have four variable functions, k maps are particularly used till four variables. If you have some functions that are four variables, ke function hai, to hum maximum we use k map for two variable function, we use k map for three variable function, we use k map for four variable functions. But we can also use, we can also create k map for five variable. But making a k map for five variable is going to be very time consuming as well as it will be tricky, right? In your examination, maximum you will get up to four variables. Aapke exam mein, aapko maximum four variables ke tak hi k map aayega. You will not get a k map for five variables. Aapko five variable ka k map nahi aayega. You will only get k map for three variables as well as four variables. Okay. So I hope that you understood how to fill a k map. Aapko samaj mein aayega hoga ki k map ko kaise fill kar sakte hain. Okay. Now let us look at let us look at how can you make pairs in the k map. K-map में किस किस pairs को बनाया जा सकता है? Let us look at in the next video.